No. It is 41 degrees today in Tokyo. 41 Celsius. I went to uh, Hatsumi Sensei's class last night. The basic things that we, he talked about were the, surprisingly the, the sense of skipping stones again from last year. That came up again. And, uh, man, it's hot. Uh, we talked about uh, using very little little movement, very little force, using your fingers to attack and to manipulate and control your opponent. Not so much big movements, but small movements. The ta the, they talked about things such as staying one step ahead of your opponent or staying neutral. Staying one, one step ahead by staying neutral. So in other words, you could go one step forward or one step backwards if you had to. Um, we used uh, Shuko again, hand claws, against swords, against punches, and against knives. Um, and I had a Eureka moment again where I, something made sense and became clear. And, um, it was, it was a relatively packed house, but um, I was talking to Shiraishi Sensei, he was there too, and he was saying that it's, it is dropping a little bit, there's not as many people there as there, there have been at times. So uh, this time of year, late August is starting to drop a little bit. I uh, met lots of nice people from Mexico. I met a guy from uh, Ireland, Ireland. And he's an actor on Vikings, the television show. And uh, Peter was his name. Like, I don't think he told me his last name, but his first name was Peter. And uh, I had told them that I had applied to be a, an extra on Vikings, and they wanted me to. They were going to, and then at the last second, they said that I needed to be. They asked me if I had or was allowed to work in Ireland. And technically, at the time, no. I said, I can, real fast. But they said, unfortunately, no. So, at any rate. But he was telling me about the show and what it's like to work on the show and how much he gets paid and stuff like that. It was kind of cool. But uh, back, to the, back to the training at hand. Uh, um, met lots of people that I had seen before. It's good to see them again. But I suppose most of you are really just concerned, want to know more about what the training was. And that's... Uh, like I said, the Shuko, we used a lot of Shuko sword, with Shuko, swords by themselves, uh, knife, empty hand against a knife, that kind of thing. How to manipulate the swords or knives with as little as just your fingers and your thumb, like little motions like that, hey? pushing. Um, these are things I'll go over with my guys when I get back, but um, that's basically what it was. Is there anything I'm missing? Hatsumi was... Oh, yes, uh, he, he, he did a painting on a scroll for me. And there's a little bit of a story behind that. Basically, when I sat down, I said I wanted something to do with love because I have, I have this theme that I'm going to try to run with here for the next few years. The first, the first one is love, so he's, and then I was thinking to myself that the next one I wanted was uh, compassion. So I'm going to start with love and then I'll ask for compassion next time. There's a, people walking by here right in front of me and they're all staring at me like I'm, I'm nuts. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, as I'm sitting here talking to myself. Um, I said I wanted to do love this time and compassion next time. And coincidentally, when I sat down, he painted love and then compassion right under it. I said, whoa, what are the odds of that? And then he drew a picture of me again, and everybody would laughed, and I took pictures of it. And uh, he, he went down to my belly button, and he stopped at my belly button and said, I'm not going to draw anything below that. And everybody laughed, and then he drew the character for a dragon underneath my belly button. 
which looks like a dragon too. So there's a hidden meaning there, I suppose. It's a hell of a good fun, but uh, it was good. Good to see him again. Good to train. And um, I am planning to go in an hour. Yep, about an hour from now, I'm gonna head on over to see uh, Nagato Sensei again. And I'll let you know what happened to that class. Thank you for following me. Arigatou gozaimasu.